Hey guys, good morning. Today we are going to discuss about diodes. So here are the contents. First of all, we will look uh, what is a diode, how the diode construction and the symbol is, what are the types of diodes, then uh, diode characteristics and the finally diode applications. So the first slide is uh, what is a diode? A diode is a two terminal electronic component which conducts electricity primarily in one direction. So that is the definition of the diode. So what happens here is uh, it has a high resistance on one end and the low resistance on the other end. Mainly these devices are used to protect the electric circuits by limiting the voltage and uh, to also transform AC into DC. AC means alternate current and uh, DC is nothing but direct current. So in this presentation, I am going to cover only about the diodes. Okay. So semiconductors like uh, silicon and germanium are used to make the most of the diodes. Even though they transmit current in a single direction but the way with which they transmit differs so basically there are different kinds of diodes and uh, uh, we are going to discuss uh, about each of them in detail in upcoming slides and uh, each type has its own application So if you look at it, uh, where uh, this uh, the diode symbol of the diode is look like this. So here it's a triangular uh, shape and a line. So here you, here you can see uh, just a minute. Yeah, I went to the okay. So a stranded diode is represented by triangle adjoining a line. So this is the triangle and the adjoining line is this. So this is the way we are going to represent the diode. The terminal entering the flat edge of the triangle, flat edge of the triangle, it represents the anode. This is called anode, which is the positive one. And the other end is called the cathode which is nothing but the negative here you can see always the current will flow from the positive to negative that is from anode to the cathode side but the reverse way it's not possible because it's it's not happening like that always the current will flow from the positive to negative that is anode to cathode so these diodes can be made up of from either of the two semiconductor materials as we discussed in the earlier slide that is uh, silicon and uh, germanium so when the anode voltage is more positive then the cathode voltage. This type of diodes can be called it is forward biased. And the reverse one is called reverse biased. That is from cathode to anode side. Similarly, when the cathode voltage is more positive, the cathode voltage is more positive in comparison to the anode voltage, that kind of diode is said to be reverse biased. 
the arrow in the diode symbol represents the direction of the conventional current flow when the diode is conducts these are some of the different diode and their notations here you can see so if you look at it following are the types of uh, diodes it's broadly classified into this following categories the first of all this is the light emitting diode in short uh, we call it as led then it comes to laser diode avalanche diode zener diode sutki diode and the last one is photo diode in the upcoming slides we are going to discuss a little bit about uh, all these kind of uh, diodes let's see so what is a light emitting diode led so when the electricity between the electrodes passes through this diode light is produced so you might have seen the leds nowadays in this way light is getting produced when the electric passes through it the electrodes light is produced in other words you can say light is generated when a sufficient amount of forwarding current passes through it this leds are available in different kind of colors also how this light color depends on is it depends upon the energy gap of the semiconductors used inside this so nowadays in the market you might have see different kinds of red blue green all the kinds of uh, leds are coming so this comes due to this energy gap of the semiconductors used laser laser diode is nothing but it is a kind of diode it's a different kind of diode as it produces uh, coherent light and uh, mainly this is used in uh, cd drives dvds and uh, laser devices and uh, this is a little bit costly in comparison to other kind of uh, diodes like leds and uh, this is uh, of limited life and this is the only drawback of this kind of diodes coming to avalanche diode so basically this kind of diodes belongs to the reverse bias type of the diodes and uh, it operates using the avalanche effect they exhibit high levels of sensitivity and hence used for photo detection this kind of thing coming to zener diode this is the most useful type of diode as it can provide stable reference voltage basically these are operated in reverse bias and break down on the arrival of a certain voltages if it appears to a certain voltages it basically break down and uh, if the current passes through the resistor is limited stable voltage is generated so this zener diodes are widely used in power supplies to provide a reference voltage so all kinds of diodes are used in different different applications this sutki diode this is best upon lower forward voltages than comparison to other silicon diodes and uh, these are highly used in rectifier applications coming to photodiode this kind of diodes can 
identify even a small amount of current flow which resulted from the light and these are very much useful in the detection of uh, the light this is also based upon reverse bias diode and used in solar cells and uh, photometer even though they used to generate electricity coming to diode characteristics which we discussed earlier also so these are kind of these are the couple of characteristics of the diodes forward bias diode reverse bias diode and the last one is zero bias diode the first one is forward bias diode here you can see in the x axis this is the forward bias they represented and this is the forward current similarly for the reverse bias it goes from the zero to left side this is reverse bias and uh, the reverse current is flowing and uh, zero bias here it's different like this so in the forward bias diode what happens there is a small drop of voltage across the diode when the diode is forward bias and uh, current is conducting as we saw there are two types of semiconductors used especially silicon and germanium so for the silicon diode the forward voltage is limited to 690 millivolt and for the germanium it's 300 if you if we are talking about uh, potential energy across the p type material it's positive whereas for the n type material the potential energy is negative coming to reverse bias diode this is said to be reverse biased when the battery's voltage is dropped completely so this for silicon diode the reverse voltage is minus 20 microampere and uh, similarly for germanium it's minus 50 microampere and the potential potential energy for p type material is negative whereas across the n type of material the potential energy is positive then the zero bias diode so when the diode is zero bias basically the voltage potential across the diode is zero and the last slide is diode applications so there are the couple of uh, scenarios where the diode normally we are using diodes as uh, recti uh, rectifier in the clip the clipping circuit in clamping circuits also logical gates and reverse current protection thank you guys for watching this video if you have any questions comments you are always welcome you can mention in the comment section thank you so much